guys, how you doing? This is your host with the most, your boy Rich from Rich TV Live. And we just launched a brand new website and ecosystem built by investors for investors where you can go and talk with other members from all across the globe about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, metaverse. You can literally hang out. And what we're going to do today is we're going to focus on the top 10 stocks for May 2022. Now we're in a really tough market environment. The market is extremely volatile. So we're looking for some of the biggest, best companies in the world, companies that can deal with the volatility, companies that can actually do well in this type of market environment. Oil and gas stocks are doing well. We're going to be looking at some banking stocks. We're going to be looking at one tech company that has a huge dividend. We're going to be looking at a whole bunch of other things. Let's take a look right here, right now, exclusively at Rich TV Live. Don't touch that dial and make sure you subscribe for future updates. Thank you for watching our world famous top 10 stocks, May 2022. Let's go right now. All right, this is richtv.io. And you can see here, we are a one-stop shop for everything investing. Join our community at richtv.io. You can see all the chat rooms, hundreds and hundreds of chat rooms talking about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, metaverse, anything that's trending 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can see latest financial news in stocks and cryptocurrencies. And then you can actually go and search different stocks. So we're talking today about our top 10 stocks. So in number 10, McDonald's. Now, I believe everybody should be putting McDonald's on your radar, on your watch list. It is an absolute monster. McDonald's has so much potential. And I think everybody needs to be aware of it. And considering the fact that we've been in really a market meltdown for I would say about the last year in the stock market, at least six months in crypto as well. You can see McDonald's has done quite well. You can see it's been you know, pretty steady at these levels, been as high as, let's say, around 268, been as low as 219. You can see all of this at richtv.io. And then you can go and find out all the information here about McDonald's, all the key data. So when looking at all the key data, I always like to look at the high and the low of the last year. So the last year, we've seen a low of 217 on McDonald's. That's really where you want to be trying to buy it and the high of 254. But we're talking about a very stable company and a company that everybody knows. And you can see it's currently at 251 and it's been as high as 254. So it's pretty close to an all-time high. So this is a company that's done well, despite the fact we've been in a tough market and if we look at McDonald's, some of the key factors that I like about this, I like the dividend, 2.12% dividend. And when you look at the opinions, you can see the technical say it is a buy. So in a tough market, we've seen it been as low as 217, been as high as 271, and currently sitting right at 251. So showing strength in a real tough market and a reason why I believe right now everyone should be really looking at safety in their portfolios to diversify your portfolios in a really tough market and try to buy the best companies in this type of market. And McDonald's is absolutely one of the best. Now let's take a look at my ninth pick company. I've talked about a lot doing extremely well, American Express. So in another tough market, we're seeing American Express is doing extremely well. I will create a watch list of these picks on richtv.io and you can see $178. And if we look at the one year chart, you'll see a very choppy chart and you'll see a stock that's been as high as, you know, 198, as low as, sorry, yeah, 198, as low as 153. And we're currently sitting at 178. So it's pretty doing pretty well considering the market we're in. And you can see here the key data it's got a low of $178 and a high of 182, 52 week low range of $28. Unbelievable. And high of $199. Sorry, a 52 week low range of $149 and a high of $199. Currently sitting at $178. So very, very choppy. 
like the whole market's been, but you can see it's closer to the top than it is the bottom. And it's shown a lot of strength. So if we take a look here at American Express, another one that I absolutely love, I've purchased in the past and I'm always looking to purchase it again, just looking for dips. So you can see lows and highs. I always like to mark the lows and highs and you can see it's closer to the high than it is a low. So it's another company showing strength in a very tough market environment. They don't have a huge dividend, but they also pay you a dividend. So I think when you're investing in these types of companies, 0.99% dividend. So just under 1%, you're talking about investing in some of the biggest, best companies in the world. And when the whole market's down, they're not down that much. So that shows me really how strong they are. And it makes me want to own them. So these are the types of companies that I want to own in this type of environment, the type of companies that I'm looking to buy. Now, remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, these are some of the biggest, best companies in the world. And I'm excited about the dip in the market so that I can get in and own these companies then these are the types of companies that I want to own in my portfolio. I want to own the biggest, best companies in the world. And these are the types of opportunities that you wait for in the market so that you can pounce on companies that are great companies that are down. So you can see IBM has been as high as 151, been as low as 117, and currently sitting at 133. So once again, another company that's showing very, very strong in a tough market. 52-week high of 146, 52-week low of 114. We always want to be trying to buy these big companies near a low, but this is another company that's showing resilience in a really tough market. Here's IBM here as well. And you can see here, IBM, very, very choppy. We'll mark the lows and the highs. And you can see right here, I mean, it's been higher, it's been lower, and we're once again, higher than the medium. So it's still showing resilience in a really tough market. And IBM is another quality company I'd love to own. And look at that dividend on IBM, 4.6% dividend on IBM. We cannot ignore that dividend on IBM. It's a huge dividend. And that's why they're my number eight pick for May, 2022. Another quality company that I would love to own. And in a tough market environment, they've been very resilient. So another company I think everybody should have on their radar and have on their watch list. Um, another company that I think everyone should be looking at is BMO, Bank of Montreal. I think right now we need to really look at banks. You know, these are some of the richest, most powerful companies in Canada and in the world with Bank of Montreal. And you can see here, once again, very resilient, you know, kind of higher than the middle a little bit, but also on a dip. So quality company on a dip, and they pay a nice dividend. These are the types of companies I think everyone needs to be looking at and hunting right now in this market environment. Safety, 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 because we're in a really tough market environment. Some saying the worst since the 1980s, some saying the worst since the 1990s, some saying the worst since 2008. Any way you slice it, this is a tough market environment, which means there's opportunities for investors. This is why I'm personally looking to own and position myself in these quality companies. So Bank of Montreal on the New York Stock Exchange, uh, I think it's one that everyone should be aware of and BMO, and we're gonna pull it up right here as well. And you can see here, and these will, I will create a watch list for all of this on richtv.io. And we will create a group as well on richtv.io for Bank of Montreal. And you can see here, just go to the one year, very, very choppy, but it's been more up than down. So it's done extremely well in a tough market environment. And when you go to the 52 week high, you can see it's been as high as $122 and been as low as 93. So you want to be trying to buy it around 52 week lows. And it's right now sitting at 107. Really love to know what you guys think about these picks. What do you guys think about Bank of Montreal? being our number seven pick for May 2022. And in number six, Royal Bank. Royal Bank, one of the top Canadian banks, one of the largest international banks in the world. And you can clearly see here, you know, it's it's been extremely choppy. 
And I think this is a buying opportunity for Royal Bank. So if you want to get into a great Canadian bank, look at Royal Bank. It's lower than the middle of where it's traded over the last year. You can see it's gone as high as 119. It's been as low as 90, 95. And it's just sitting right now at 102. So clearly it could go lower. But this is a quality company, pays you a nice dividend, 3.45% dividend. And it's one that I think everybody should put on their radar and put on their watch list in times of turmoil, in times of crisis, like we're having with Ukraine and Russia and you know a war that's happening, one of the largest and worst world wars since a lot of people are saying since World War II and one of the largest world wars in Europe. You can see here Royal Bank of Canada been extremely choppy as well. And I think it's another one of those quality companies that you want to own. And in this type of market environment, these are the types of companies that you want to own. And you can see we've created lots of different chat rooms and we will create a chat room after these videos for Royal Bank Canada. And I will be adding them to a top 10 watch list for May 2022 for everyone to review. But these are the types of quality companies that I want to own in my portfolio. And you can go and get all the key data right here at richtv.io. And you just take a look at all the key data here. And we're building up all this data. We will have more market data. You can see 52-week low of $95, a 52-week high of 119, and currently sitting at 102. So not a bad time to start thinking about positioning yourself in Royal Bank of Canada. Once again, one of the largest banks in the world, one of the largest Canadian banks, and one of the biggest and best Canadian banks. And once again, a yield, a dividend of 3.45% to hold this stock. Now, the next pick, our number five pick for May 2022 is TD Bank. Absolutely love TD Bank. It's one of my favorite banks, and I want to own this stock. And you can clearly see it's right at $72 in America right now, and it's been much higher. It's been as high as 86, been as low as 62. When we go to richtv.io, just type in TD. And we will create a group here. It'll be popping up here. And until then, you can go underneath it, click on the symbol, and it'll pop up, and it'll give us all the market data, as you can see here. So here's TD Bank. And we can go to the one-year chart. And we will create a group for TD Bank, which will be populated here as well. So every time we talk about a new pick, we create a group for them, and we start building out organically a trading room where you can go and talk about TD Bank, give us your opinions, let us know what you think about TD Bank. But this is one I love to own as well. And there's a lot of reasons for that. Look at the, look at the dividend, 3.82% dividend, a really nice dividend, kind of trading near the bottom um, uh, of the zone, kind of in the middle of the zone. Uh, we might be able to pick it up a little lower. And obviously it's been higher. It's kind of right in the middle. So I think if you can get this on a dip, it's a quality company, one of the biggest banks in Canada, one of the biggest banks in the world, and my number five pick for May 2022. And here's all the key data, a quality company that everybody should have on their radar and have on their watch list. And I'd love to know your guys' opinions on these picks. What do you guys think so far of our top 10 picks? Now, here's one that I personally own, full disclosure. And it is Bank of Nova Scotia. Bank of Nova Scotia, full disclosure, I do own shares of Bank of Nova Scotia. And you can see here some of the key areas that I think everyone should be aware of. It's highs and lows for the year. And you can see it's been as low as 59, been as high as 74. These are the American symbols and listings. And you can see it's on the New York Stock Exchange in America, Bank of Nova Scotia, right now sitting at. $64. So it's near the lower zone over the last 12 months. It's been much higher and has a great dividend. This is why this is the first Canadian bank that I've personally been accumulating. 4.6% dividend. Love the dividend. I hold it in my TFSA and in my cash account, Bank of Nova Scotia, my number four pick for May 2022. And just click BNS and you can see Bank of Nova Scotia and we will create a group for Bank of Nova Scotia after this video as well. And you can see here Bank of Nova Scotia. A lot of these picks I've talked about in the past, because we just launched this website, we are building everything from scratch again. So these are all picks that we've talked about that have gone up tremendously. 
And you can see the one year chart, it's been much higher, it's been a little bit lower. And then if you look at all the key data points for Bank of Nova Scotia, you can clearly see here that it's been much higher, $74, and also been lower at 59, but we are closer to the bottom than we are at the top at 64. So I believe these are the times to start looking at Bank of Nova Scotia, one that I personally own and hold, and my number four pick for May 2022. In number three, Suncor Energy. Now, we've also talked about Suncor Energy. You can see we have it, the buy zone at $18 when we started talking about it at first in our trading community, in our trading club. And you can see it's been a huge winner with oil doing extremely well and hitting highs. Um, the highest we've seen oil this year hit the highest it's been in, in, in 13 years. So I think now's the time to really look at companies like Suncor and they also have a really nice dividend. And you have to really think about it logically, a 3.2% dividend and a company that is obviously going to have huge revenues with the price of oil going higher. So definitely one to watch and one to put on your radar and put on your watch list. Now, obviously you're going to say, Rich, it's already high. It's near a top. You know, should we really be buying it? I'm not telling you to buy these picks. That's not why we do these top tens. Everything we do is for information, education, and entertainment purposes. I'm telling you to put it on your radar, put on your watch list. It's been a top performer. It's done extremely well in a really tough market environment. And that's why I believe everyone should be aware of it because you need to have some winners in your portfolio. And this is a winner. So Suncor Energy, congratulations to members that got in. We have a lot of members in our community that work at Suncor that have done extremely well with this pick. So congratulations to everybody on Suncor, our number three pick for May 2022. And the symbol for Suncor is SU. And we will create a group on richtv.io for Suncor. So you guys can go in there and talk about Suncor, communicate about Suncor. We will create a chat room for Suncor after this video, and I will create a top 10 for May 2022, and Suncor will be on our list. In fact, they are the number three pick for us, for richtv.io and our community for May 2022. This is their key data. And once again, a high of 37 and a low of $17 and we started talking about it around $18. So it's more than doubled in a year. Congratulations to investors on Suncor. But I believe that this trend could continue. I think we could see it go higher because at the end of the day, these companies are now reporting financials with the price of oil being so much higher. They are going to show huge, huge, huge financials over the next six to 12 months if the price of oil continues to stay high. And that's why I believe we need to be looking at these types of companies. Now, in number two, another bank, Northeast Bank on the NASDAQ. I really want to be doing a focus and a run on banks. This is where really you can be safe with your money. This is where, in my opinion, a lot of high net worth investors are putting their money. They also pay a little bit of a dividend, 0.14. It's a new bank we've never talked about. We'll create a group for them as well on richtv.io. And the symbol is N. B N Northeast Bank. And I really believe that banks should be a focus right now. It's a safety play. And this is a bank I've never talked about. So I want to talk about it. I want to give you guys new picks all the time. I'm always looking for something new to add, something qualitative that you can add to your, your, your portfolio, put on your watches. You can see it's really been climbing up in a really tough market environment. I think that's a good sign. And you can see here that it's 52 week high is 41, 52 week low of 27 and currently sitting at 37. So it's doing extremely well in a tough market environment. Another reason why I think you need to put Northeast Bank on your radar and on your watch list, my number two pick for May, 2022. And in number one pick I've never talked about, uh, but I think right now with oil doing extremely well, you can see here just like uh, Suncor, it's quite near a top, but because the price of oil is so high, I think you need to really have a couple winners in your portfolio, 2.73% dividend for Imperial Oil. And still at $50, I still feel like there's room for this to go higher. If you go to its all-time chart, you can see it's been as high as $63. So with the price of oil very, very high, I think we still have room for some of these picks to go higher. And if the price of oil maintains this high level with us in a war and a lot of 
different reasons why the price of oil may stay higher, we may see more price appreciation for Imperial oil. So keep it on your radar, keep it on your watch list. These are safe plays, safety plays, companies that I think are quality companies that have been around for many, many years and will be around for many, many years. Banks, oil and gas stocks, uh, tech stocks like IBM that have huge dividends. So I believe a quality top 10 picks and you know, American Express, obviously uh, one of the top credit card companies in the world for high net worth investors and businesses and McDonald's in the food business, um, all companies that have been able to do really, really well in a tough market environment. And I really believe that this tough market environment will most likely continue for the rest of this year because of the fact that we're dealing with major inflation and because of the fact that we're dealing with the fact that right now, unfortunately, that interest rates are going to continue to go higher. And because interest rates, there's Imperial Oil right there, symbol company, just click on Imperial Oil, and we will create a chat room for Imperial Oil as well. And we will create a top 10 list. They'll be our number one pick for May 2022. And we believe this momentum may continue for these companies that are just reporting huge earnings now due to the fact that the price of oil is so high. So I believe that this trend could continue at least for another month. These are quality companies. And I still feel like the price is not too high. Uh, their market cap is not too high. So Imperial Oil, our number one pick for May 2022. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the news. We bring you the analysis. We bring you the winners. And we bring it to you first. We've been building richpicksdaily.com, richtvlive.com, and now richtv.io. Thank you guys for watching. You can see we have so much different content here, news feeds, chat rooms, my watch list. I've got lots of different watch lists and we're gonna to continue to create more and more watch lists. You click on my watch list. You'll see we've got watch lists for my top 10, my rich picks, crypto picks, psychedelics, plant-based foods, cannabis, EVs, high dividend, lithium, pharma, gold, silver, tech. You can see it doesn't stop. Top picks, uh, my personal buys for 2022. And if you wanna get access to this, you can become a VIP member to get access to all of my trade ideas for stocks and cryptocurrencies. You can also see all of our richest picks that we've made for years. And we are going to continue to update this with all of our picks that we make in stocks and cryptocurrencies. So as we <clears throat> continue to grow and continue to evolve and continue to have more picks, you will get access to all of these picks. You also get access to our education center if you're a VIP member and you can get an exam and learn what you know about stocks. You can find friends, albums, safe posts, popular posts, memories, pokes, and affiliate centers. So all of that on richtv.io. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. And I'd love to know what you guys think about richtv.io and our world famous top 10 stocks that we've been doing for years on YouTube live and absolutely free. Thank you guys for joining us. If you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. If you're live, you can see here latest news, uranium or lithium, which is the better buy. Click on the latest news and you can get trending news and information every single day at your fingertips right here at richtv.io. You can see our top 10 picks for the month and see the results, our top 10 crypto for the month. You can see the market movers that are happening. All of this information at your fingertips, a one-stop shop, everything, cryptocurrency, stocks, top 10 losers of the day, top 10 gainers of the day, market data at your fingertips, and we're going to continue to bring you more content. You can see all the categories, banking stocks, bitcoins, cryptocurrencies, DeFi, dividend stocks. You can get closer to winning with our free lifetime membership. Unlock our basic features. Simply join now and upgrade and become a VIP member to get access to even more. You can see we are talking about lithium stocks, market analysis, metaverse, NFTs, penny stocks, stocks, trading, vaccine stocks, Web 3.0, a great resource for information in stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, metaverse, and so much more. Just simply go to richtv.io. It's your boy Rich from Mercy Be Live with our top 10 stocks. What do you guys think about our top 10 picks? I think these are great winners. I'm very excited to own Bank of Nova Scotia. I'd like to own the other nine as well. 
I'll keep you updated and let you know what I do. It's your boy Rich from Risk to Be Live, and I'm out. Thank you.